I want to make chili out of you. I want to make chili out of you. I want to make chili out of you. I want to make chili. This goes out to all my carnivore heads who pass on the grass and yam the cow instead. Serve it up with beer and bread. No need to complicate, just beer and bread. I want to make chili out of you. Don't be shy. I want to make chili out of you. You won't die. I want to make chili out of you. Don't be shy. I want to make chili. Every man needs to know how to make a good chili. It's like a rite of passage. Helps stimulate chest hair growth. And helps keep the voice sounding deep and manly. In fact, there's an unwritten code of ethics that forbids you from hosting any major sporting event until you master the techniques behind the chili. But be careful, my friends. Beware of imposters. You know the type. The ones that claim their chili is the bomb. Claim that it simmers not only for hours, but for days. Claiming that it's a family secret passed down from one generation to the other. You know the type. And when you're finally blessed enough to have a spoonful of their chili, and you put your spoon into the bowl and you gather up all the ingredients and you finally put it to your lips. Blandness. That's all I taste. Blandness mixed with sadness. What a waste. That cow's life was taken for you to eat and you couldn't even season the meat. All it takes is common sense to make flavor enhance. The raw steak favors your chance 10 to 0. So don't be coming with no, oh, tales of seasoning beef after the fry, some seasoning salt, hold it high, let it rain down, spread it evenly, cross the surface of the beef ground, turn it around, over, get underneath the sides, can't forget the inner, begin the process of flavor, yes, why wouldn't you want the taste of ground chilies, make chili taste like chili scapegoats? that didn't apply the dose and left wondering about the blundering after the boast and heightness must have missed the thoroughness of the spice yes it's the herbs i prefer the fresh but if dry's all you get then fine oregano basil thyme rosemary cooking without cumin <laughs> how dare he even make suggestion of such the chili must have this ingredient don't be disobedient and leave it out while well, that's the lazy bastard rap how many of y'all know some lazy bastards? Mm, those are the kitchen cowboys, huh? The type that don't even wash their hands after handling raw meat. Mm, you gotta watch out for them cowboys. Type to poison you, I reckon. Okay? Cowboys in the kitchen always substitute when they don't have the right ingredient, huh? Oh, there's no cumin. I'll just substitute some extra chili powder. <laughs> Nobody will know. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's not the way to go. You get labeled a cowboy. We don't like cowboys. Good preparation makes for good food. Make sure you gather all your spices before you attempt the recipe, all right? Now, before we go making a big batch of chili, it's better to start small. Get all the techniques down pat, okay? Add a little bit of oil to a small pot here, okay? This pot, nice heavy bottom. Help distribute the heat nice and evenly. Keep it from burning, okay? Blast the heat, yo. Get this nice and hot. Another thing I want to talk about is homemade tomato sauce versus store-bought. I've got some stuff here that's been simmering for about an hour and a half. Nice, beautiful tomato sauce, okay? However, if you want to buy the store-bought, I've got no problem with that. Just remember that it is high in salt, so you want to take out some of the salt that you added to your ground beef to help compensate, okay? All right, so that pot is well hot now, all right? So let's add in that beef, nicely seasoned. Oh, you hear that sizzle? Good sounds to hear, brothers, okay? yourself a nice little wooden spoon and you don't really need to stir too much in the beginning man just let it sit there spread it out let's do its thing also this is a very important what we're doing here is we're sealing in all those spices all those flavors so it's important that the pot's nice and hot you're good to go all right give it a little stir now you can pr pretty much start to see the first colors of brown starting to shine through 
All right, so about five minutes have passed here, and you can see all that ground beef is nice and brown. But take a look, see all that oil right there? That's no good. A lot of cowboys would just leave that in and start adding in their sauce and wonder why there's a thin layer of oil on top of their sauce. No matter how much they try to scrape it off, it just keeps coming back. Now's the time to get rid of the oil. So just grab your strainer, put a little bowl underneath. We got some flavor builders here. All right, we got some chopped up veg, some butter, some tomato paste, and some kidney beans. Now, you can use that same pot that you had before. Add in the butter, okay? And then all you need, some of these flavor builders. This is the foundation of every kitchen. Carrots, onions, celery, and garlic. Add that in, and we're just gonna let that sweat, okay? What we mean by sweat is just a light saute, you know? You're not really trying to brown it, you're just trying to let it release its flavors, okay? That's important, because as those flavors release, all the, the juices, the natural juices are gonna come out of these, these vegetables here and add flavor. Next thing to do is add in our beef. It's all nicely strained off here, okay? Add that in, beautiful. Oh yeah, that's looking good, yo. All right, let's give that a good stir as well. Oh, nice. This is looking really good, Joe. Now, next thing we want to do is add in some tomato paste. This is going to add the body and the richness to the chili right here. All right? Cool. Give that a good stir in. Okay? It's going to look a little bit clumpy at first, but it should end up just blending up nice getting to know all that lovely beef, all that lovely vegetables. Right on, brother. Now what you want to do now is you need some, some more flavor, which will work good with some stout, okay? If you don't got any stout, just use some, some red wine will work really nice as well. Just pour in that stout, just make sure that stout's at like a room temperature, okay? Pour that in, just until it reaches the top of the chili there. Okay, you can even add a little bit more. All right, let's use the whole bottle, who cares? Okay, stir that around. Oh man, that's gonna have some strength, yo. Straight up, let that simmer, yo. Once that reduces, we're ready for our next step. So that Guinness is all evaporated now. Okay, and while it was evaporating, I was rubbing the bottom of the pan to lift off any of the flavor, okay? That's important. Now all we gotta do, is add in these kidney beans with the juice and all. Add it right in, yo. Okay, red kidney beans. It's gonna add the, make that chili nice and thick. It's time for that tomato sauce. Add that in. A few ladles full. Perfect, brothers. Give it a good stir. All right, and you want just to, just let this whole mixture now simmer for about a half hour or so, all right? Perfect, brothers. Now that's, that's looking like some respectable chili, yo. You see how thick and righteous that's looking, man? Brother man could just stand on that right there, okay? Cool, okay. Only thing that's good with chili is bread, all right? Let's just slice that bad boy up, okay? And the key with chili, bros, is just taking time, man. I mean, really, give it time to get to this stage and you're good, okay? All right. Let's add in our bread around this bowl here. You know what else I like with my chili? Is uh, some cheese, man. Some like melted mozzarella on top. Ooh, good to go. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I'm proud of that, yo. I'm gonna find me a game to watch. Holla at me next time, yo. Peace.